Hello everyone, welcome to AG Mathematics. This is Rekha here. Today we are going to do a sum in which we have to find the number to be multiplied with 180 to get a perfect square. The question is, what is the smallest number by which 180 should be multiplied to get a perfect square? Now, we all know that 180 is not a perfect square. So, to make this a perfect square, we have to multiply 180 with some number. We have to find out that number. So, always in these type of sums, we have to start with prime factorization method. We will go on factorizing 180 with the smallest prime number. 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 180. 2 nines are 18 and 0. Again, this is divisible by 2. 2 45s are is 90. Now, 45, 4 plus 5 is 9. So, 9 is divisible by 3. So, 45 is also divisible by 3. 3 ones are 3. 1 is the remainder. 3 fives are 15. Now, again in, now 15 again, it is divisible by 3. 3 fives are 15. Now, we have 5 ones are 5. So, we will write down all the factors of 180. The factors of 180 are 2 into 2, 3 into 3 and 5. So, here when we get these factors, what we have to do? We have to make a pair. Like we have to take a pair of a set of two numbers so that it becomes a perfect square. Now, 2 into 2 is 2 square. 3 into 3 is 3 square. Now, 5 is left alone. So, we have to have one extra 5 to make this a perfect square because 5 is alone. We have to have set of numbers, set of 2 numbers. Then only it becomes a perfect square. If it was a cube, we would make set of 3 numbers. 2 into 2 into 2. We would see like that. But here, we have to look for set of 2 numbers. So, it is 2 into 2, 3 into 3 and 5 is alone. That is 5 is single 5. So, we have to add one more 5. That is, we have to multiply one more 5 to get a perfect square number. So, this has to be multiplied with 5. So, 1, sorry, we will write down the answer. What is the smallest number by which 180 should be multiplied? The number 5 should be multiplied with 180 to get a perfect square. Okay. Now, if you want to verify, we can also verify. Now, 180 into 5, we will multiply and see. 5 zeros are 0, 5 8s are 40, 5 1s are 5 plus 4 is 9, 900. So, when we multiply 180 with 5, it becomes 900. And what is the square root of 900? We all know the square root of 900 is 30. So, it is a perfect square. So, 900 is a perfect square number, right? So, the number 5 should be multiplied with 180 to get a perfect square. All this and this is not needed in the answer sheet. You have to just write down this. I have explained only for your understanding purpose, okay? So, the answer you have to write down is the number 5 should be multiplied with 180 to get a perfect square. Here, do this method and... By detecting which number is less, we will come to know and then we have to write down the answer. Like the number 5 should be multiplied to get a perfect square. Okay. Hope you all found this video useful. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.